This video will show how to test for the required live load in the serviceability load case. Here we use a floor joist to showcase the steps to follow to add the load case. Select the loads menu, then select load combinations project. Notice the default load cases are already listed in the load combination set. Click the insert row button. The user defined load combination window will open. Give it an alias that has not been used. Here we will use SA-LC30. Change the duration to long term. Change limit state to serviceability limit state. From the load case drop down, select dead as the first selection. Change partial factor to 1.1. The reduction factor stays 1.0. Make sure dominant is ticked. From the load case drop down, select LL3 as the second selection. Change partial factor to 0 0.3. The reduction factor stays 1.0. Make sure dominant is ticked. Make sure the current factor displays 0 0.3. Confirm automatic name is ticked and click OK. Notice that the system adds three required load combinations to the set. Click OK and redesign the frame. Use Shift and Minus to move backwards through the load cases. Notice the added load case combination now includes the factored live load. The value LL3 is dependent on the building category chosen from the design code in settings. The factor used for LL3 comes from the SANS code for combination factors, table 1. Therefore, the factor to use will be 0 0.3 for the domestic category, 0 0.6 for office, congregation and shopping categories, and 0 0.8 for the storage category. Make sure to add this load combination whenever you design for a floor, either in attics, or as floor joists.